How's it going everyone? My name is Mick Ambrose. Welcome to All About Tech, the channel which brings, well, it's supposed to be all things tech related, but so far it's just been about cryptocurrency and mainly about a cryptocurrency called Electronium, which I follow um, very closely. Um, today's video, I want to talk about their recent patent. I will put a link down below of a patent analysis that I did for them. Um, that got really good feedback, um, even though I was like three days late to to post about it because I was at work. But um, but anyway, I've had quite a few requests to do a video about PayPal's patent and how it could potentially be worrying for Electronium that PayPal have already put a patent, um, they've already filed a patent to that claim instantaneous payments and some people are concerned that it's um that it, that it might be too similar to how electronium are doing it and things like that so this isn't going to be a long video purely because of the fact that there is not a lot of there's not a lot of content out there about paypal's patent to be honest with you so a lot of it is going to be about just waiting but um i'm going to go into a couple of points as to why they what key differences there could be and why um, holders of Electronium shouldn't be worried about it. So the first thing I want to say is what PayPal are doing um, to achieve instantaneous payments. So what they are doing is they are creating, well, they're claiming that they're going to be creating secondary wallets, which a buyer and a receiver can share as in they 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 can they can send each other an entire wallet with a predefined amount of cryptocurrency on them so what they mean by that is they are going to be creating wallets every time you send a transaction you, you're not just going to have one wallet for your um, cryptocurrency you will send a a, a a a new wallet every time you send a transaction and it's, it's all happening off the blockchain, so it's centralised. Now, in in all of the articles that I was reading, it said nothing about finally confirming that transaction on a blockchain. It's literally just sharing, being given an actual wallet from one user to the other, completely off blockchain. So, um, it's... That's what they seem to be doing it's what it, it seems to me like they're doing um whether or not they're then putting it on the blockchain afterwards to be confirmed i don't know it doesn't say anything about it um but this is where it differs from electronium and 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 i'm going to tell you why um electronium already have their blockchain they 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 technically already have their centralized app in terms of the um the wallet they use um, and what they essentially are doing is they're putting, they're going to be coding in like a safety net to protect funds that are going to be going out rather than sending an entire wallet out there. Um, so this prevents double spending. You're not creating a separate wallet. You're still using your Electronium wallet from your, from your, from your, from the Electronium app. And it just reserves the funds. It checks the funds, says, "Yep, you got the you got the right funds. We'll 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 hold these. We'll reserve these to prevent you from spending it." A lot like how a bank works with your direct debits. Um, they reserve the funds so that you can't spend it. So, in terms of that, and then that well, and then obviously they they um they then queue it. They put they place it in a queue to go on the blockchain afterwards. So. That, to me, sounds, whilst they're both using off-blockchain techniques to achieve instantaneous payments, to me, Electronium sounds completely different than, than PayPal's um, system. Because PayPal are creating a secondary wallet every single time you want to send a transaction. And whilst I can't find any, I can't, I can't even find the actual PayPal patent that was filed. Um, it may just be me being stupid. But um, on all of the actual 
articles that have been po- that were that were posted about it on the fifth on the fifth of March and around there when it um when it was announced. There's nothing that actually says that they're going to be um confirming those transactions on the blockchain because I think that they might feel like it's not necessary because the 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 funds have reached the the funds have gone from A to B. What's the point in putting a transaction to confirm it? Well, the whole point of putting a transaction to confirm it is um one so that it is logged that a transaction has been made and it's gone from A to B that needs to be tracked. So um obviously they'll they'll come up with their own way of 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 tracking that, but um PayPal are like really centralized anyway and in terms of that like that's all I really want to go into on it um one more thing i want i want to talk about is how if paypal do have this system in place um which one article i read suggested that they even they filed this patent mid 2016 and they've just deferred from doing anything about it so whether or not it's high on their priorities or not that's it's 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 hard to say but the, i think what electronium really has going for it is the fact that they are a cryptocurrency with a real use case and that have the example there ready um obviously they're still working on their centralized in- instantaneous payment system but they are looking to have it ready within the next couple months which is fantastic and this isn't me just hyping Electronium for the sake of hyping Electronium now. To me, the way PayPal are achieving instantaneous payments and the way Electronium are achieving instantaneous payments are different. Um, and that's based on what I can find online for PayPal's patent and for Electronium's patent. Um, with the tech update that we that we received, we we got loads of detail about it, and I went into it in my last video, so I'll put a link in the description. You can go check out that video. I'd really appreciate it. But um, but yeah, that's all. That's all I really want to talk about in in terms of the patent. Um, in terms of something else to do with PayPal, um, the whole point of of cryptocurrency. And Electronium is a privacy coin, which means that your details are kept safe. PayPal don't keep your details, technically, they don't keep their details safe. Because um, if I take you to this display capture, and this is on Cointelegraph. Um, this tech posted podcast host called um, Owen Williams, he's a tech journalist, um, basically. Um, he... He uh, revealed the findings of the GDPR, which disclosed that PayPal shared sensitive financial data of its customers with more than 600 entities, um, probably for business purposes, to then try and try and advertise to you and things like that. So, in terms of that, it, it kind of beats the concept of having that decentralized system anyway. So... Um, that's all, that's all I really want to go into on that, to be honest with you. I didn't want to make this a big video, mainly because there's not a lot of info out there at the moment, and it's just something we're going to need to wait on. But, um, for the positive, for, for, to, to, to end on a positive note, Dentons wouldn't have signed off on this patent, um, for it to be filed and put into patent pending status unless they were extremely confident that it would pass and that it wasn't infringing upon other technologies out there. So that that is the positive you have to take from that. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to bring you daily content in regards to cryptocurrency and electronium. Um, also, I am going to be doing non-crypto related um, videos coming up soon, hopefully um within the next with within the next two or three weeks hopefully i've got a um a a, a product review coming um not a paid product re- review it's one of my something I've, I've i've recently purchased with my own money 
um, as a computing student, as someone that loves tech, I just want to bring out more more content in regards to tech overall. So um, so yeah, keep 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 um subscribed if you want to see that. Um, obviously keep keep subscribe for daily electronium news and daily cryptocurrency news. So subscribe to the channel, and I will check you guys out in the next video. See you later, guys.